What's up guys, it's your boy Harry, welcome back to another video. I'm going to be doing videos like this uh, as often as I possibly can from now on, as well as the podcast, uh, so thanks very much for joining me here on the channel, uh, heaps of great content coming your way. Uh, now, I asked you guys on Instagram and Twitter to send me some questions, ask me anything and I'd answer it in a video or a podcast, so here we are, uh, you guys asked some pretty crazy stuff, uh, uh, let's start with an easy one. This one comes from Sam Hill on Instagram, and it's who was your most played artist of 2019? And the answer to that is Post Malone. Uh, absolutely love Post Malone. Listen to him a bunch this year, obviously, um, and he was my number one. Those Spotify stats are really interesting. Um, it's pretty crazy to see what you got up to listening-wise in the year, and it really does wind everything together. Um Pretty wild stuff, seeing some of the stuff you definitely didn't expect to get in there. But yeah, for me, Post Malone. Uh, next one from Annabelle Bennett, also on Instagram. Uh, I'll put the usernames up here somewhere as well. Uh, and she asked, moon landing, real or fake? And I've got to say, you heard it here first. I'm a believer. Real. Moon landing, real. Confirmed. <laughs> Next question, also from Annabelle. Uh, if you had to kick out an original member of the OG Wiggles crew, who would you kick out? I'd kick out the Blue Wiggle. Anthony, was that his name? Uh, just because he was the least memorable to me. Sorry, Anthony. <coughs> You're gone. Next one is from Maddie Langley, and she says, Do you eat, let's say, grass? Uh, next question. This next question comes from Andy Weldon, and he wants to know, uh, USA or Japan, and why? Um, I've never been to the US. I've always wanted to go to LA, New York, check out the place. It's definitely been a massive goal of mine. I've been to Japan twice now, and I absolutely adore Japan. Uh, love everything about it. Really is such a fascinating place. Bunch of crazy things. Uh, the food is incredible. So, I don't know. USA is on the bucket list, but I guess for now I've got to go with Japan because I've been there. Um, America seems like such a fun place to go. There's always stuff happening. Uh, yeah, I'd really love to go and check it out. But for now, i got to stick with Japan. I've been there. I've explored the place. The people are so lovely. Uh, yeah, incredible place. Love it. If you've never been to Japan uh, and it's on your list, Definitely head over there. Uh, really cool place to visit. And there's so much to do and see and just really indulge in the culture. Um, there's so much to learn. And it really is such a such a beautiful place. From Mark Gibson on Instagram. Do you still go to the Riv? I do still go to the Riv. Me and my friends go down to the river not far from my house. Uh, it's really hot where I live in the summer. It's very... Uh, very dry. We're in a drought here. It never rains. Um, so, yeah, not on the coast. So, our little swimming hole down at the river, uh, that's a place to go. Cool off, have a good uh, swim in the summer, maybe do some fishing. Very relaxing spot. One of my favorite things to do in the summer. Don't go down there as often as I used to, uh, but yeah, still, still a good time. This one from Luke on Instagram. He wants to know when the next song is coming out. Uh... I'm going to say a couple of months. I, I have maybe five or six songs that I've got three quarters of the way finished. Um, so, yeah, it's just a matter of finishing off some music and, and getting it out there. I do have stuff on the way, still always working on stuff. Uh, but, yeah, could be a few months before I get something finished to the point where I can put it out. It's always a process for me. I get lots of ideas, start working on them, comes out really good, happy with it. But then finishing it off, I, I get really picky and um, just <laughs> super painful trying to get it finished to the point where I'm really happy with it. And it's probably just me being ridiculous and over the top. And yeah, I, I get to the point where I'm, I'm trying to be super sure that it's ready to go out when I probably should just call it finished and put it out into the public. But anyway... There's music on the way. Don't stress. Songs coming your way next few months. Uh, yeah, I'll let you know. From Annabelle on Instagram, do sharks die naturally? I have no idea. I guess so. Does Like, how else does a shark die of old age? I mean, I don't know that much about marine biology, but I'm guessing if a shark doesn't get attacked by... I mean, what does a shark... It, surely that's an apex predator of the ocean. 
Um, do sharks get attacked by anything else? I assume that sharks die of old age, naturally. How? I don't know. Maybe I'm completely wrong with this. Yeah, I'm going to say sharks do die naturally. I mean, technically everything we do is natural because we're beings of nature. So if a shark dies anyway, it died naturally. So yes, sharks die naturally. Hope you guys are having a fantastic holiday season. I've got my Christmas tree set up right here. I'm very much into the festive season. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying some time off. And if you're not, I hope you're having a great time at work as well. Uh, here in Australia, very hot uh, summer coming into Christmas. Not so much like the rest of the world. Uh, yeah, very, very hot. It's uh, just under 40 degrees Celsius here today. So yeah, as you can see, very warm Christmas here in Australia. Nonetheless, I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and enjoy your New Year period. I'm sure I'll see you before then, but if not, uh, Merry Christmas from me. All right, so I just got back from the gym and uh, got a couple of anonymous questions. Uh, so the first one, uh, who are my greatest of all time YouTubers? Massive question. Um, so for me, an obvious one is PewDiePie uploading daily for the last 10 years. Uh, incredible. 100 million subscribers. Great guy. Um, his content is incredible. Every day to pump out that sort of high-level content is just incredible. Such a funny guy and really uh, appreciates his audience, and I think that really shows in his, in his videos. Uh, another one, Filthy Frank. Papa Franku, the OG. Um, I used to love those guys and their videos, um, and I'm a massive Joji fan now. Love the music and absolutely love the the videos in the golden era of YouTube. And that brings me to my final greatest of all time, uh, Goat of YouTube, Max Mofo. Still watch Max almost every day. Uh, great, great YouTuber. Seems like a really awesome guy. And yeah, love that whole Filthy Frank era. And uh, Max is still putting out some amazing vlogs and content. And uh, even with his Pokemon stuff, it's, it's really cool. And he's just... Uh, He's doing the Cold Ones podcast now, a bit of an inspiration for me to start my own podcast, and I, I think it's really great, the whole format that they do. Uh, got some funky music in the background, really cool guys, and great, great podcast. And I will put links to all of those YouTubers' uh, channels in the description. I'm sure you don't need a link to uh, Felix's page, but I'll, uh, I'll put that in the description anyway. Next question, how long have I been doing YouTube for? Well, I've always been editing videos and, uh, and things throughout my life and, and making music and stuff. But I went to Japan uh, for the second time over New Year's earlier this year, so... Uh, at the start of 2019, and I did some vlogging there and thought it was a really fun way to document the trip and just really enjoyed it. So I put some videos up then, uh, had a break throughout the year, and now I'm back. I started the podcast, and I really want to put some YouTube, put some, uh, put some regular videos up, and yeah, just really keep the content coming out for you guys. I'm having a ball, and it's crazy to see the response. So thanks so much for watching. If you're enjoying this video, make sure you hit subscribe to the channel, uh, big red button, and also click the little bell next to it so you get the notifications every time a new video comes along or every time we go live with the podcast as well, which I will be doing more regularly. Uh, it's my goal to stream twice a week with some new guests. Um, might not always happen, but yeah, podcasts, I'm definitely trying to make them happen as much as possible. Uh, it's been a great response so, so far. Thank you so much if you've tuned in, if you've caught any of the podcasts. It's been so enjoyable for me. Absolutely love really uh, getting down and having a good long conversation. No pressure to stop and you can just... Ask as many questions as you want, really learn about the topic, and that's fascinating to me. It blows me away that you guys are really interested in that. Um, thank you so much for, for coming on that ride. It's been, it's been awesome, and I'm, it's definitely something I'm going to keep pushing towards, uh, keep getting those podcasts coming out. Get some cool guests, and if you do have any ideas for people you want to come on the podcast or questions you'd like me to ask anyone, uh, drop them down in the comments below, and I'll be sure to ask the guest uh, next time we have someone on, which will be in the next week or so. We'll have another one on and we'll be streaming again right here on YouTube. Thanks for joining me. This has been my first edited 
uh, regular YouTube video. Plenty of streams coming up, but yeah, thanks for joining me right here, and hopefully I'll be putting out much more of this stuff in the near future, so thank you very much for asking me your questions. It's been fun getting into it. Some of them were a bit strange, but uh, here we are. Thank you very much. I'm Harry Carter. Thanks for watching. Oh,